Hey guys, welcome for another Flip Through Plus Vicky Card Reading. Today's Oracle deck, we have Oracle of the Fairies, and this is by Karen Kay. But before we proceed with the Flip Through, today's reading, we're going to ask the question, the changes that are happening for you. If you want to skip, you can just click on the timestamps below. Alright, so this is actually the box. Very pretty. I love the pink color. And it's actually a total of 44 cards, so let's actually pull this box okay oh okay it says something may you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart very beautiful message all right now this is actually the guidebook so let's take a look all right we have about the oracle deck how to read the cards some tips working with fairy oracle spreads so we have the now reading past present future three card spread and 12 card spread speaking of spreads somebody asked me before um why is it that i'm always pulling up six cards all right so what happened was when i started doing the reading okay or i started doing tarot it's like everything happens so fast and it's like i'm really being pulled to get six cards all right we each have our own methods and styles when it comes to reading um, as an intuitive tarot reader i actually base it off mostly on what my intuition is telling me and what i'm going to hear as well as a clear audience so that's actually why i always pull up six cards or sometimes just one card pull with some of the decks that i'm actually using but when it comes to intuition there's no right and wrong so long as you're following your intuition because that's your best friend and intuition is kind of like you know a muscle just like when you go to the gym right you exercise you flex your muscles until it develops so when it comes to intuition it's the same the more that you hone it the more that you practice it the more that you will develop it so anyway let's actually check out some of the pages here all right so we have the meaning of each card and as you can see it's actually not a colored guidebook but that's okay all right now as for the cards they are gorgeous look at that very beautiful artwork and this is actually lotus flower or water lily very very beautiful and the cards are actually not uh, matte they're glossy let's try to give it a shuffle it's kind of hard to shuffle the cards because they're sticking together since it's brand new all right let's get started first card we have here moderation beautiful magical blessings inspiration hidden depths inner child very cute baby flourish I love this image really nice find balance there's crystals around and some perfume manifestation hope come together tree wisdom wow very beautiful new beginnings music healing journey and now that's a huge wild rabbit over there really cute believe in magic very hypnotic eyes look at that solitude fairy spotting lovely image friendship i love anything about fairies which actually pulled me to buy this deck because i love anything about fairies or elemental spirits maybe because i love nature we have look in a book light lost and found 
Temptation. Oh my gosh, by far, this is my favorite card. Look at that. It's so beautiful. You have purity. I love this. Very magical. The unicorn. And I love the colors as well. I love her dress too. Very beautiful. Go outside. Stargazing. Shine from within. And look at those wings. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking beautiful. I love her wings. Transformation. She has translucent wings. Celebration. Nature signs. Wish wisely. Wisdom. Life energy. Divination. Protection. Very colorful. Abundance. There's a lot of coins underneath. Precious time. Now, I like her getup. She kind of like reminds me of Cindy Lauper for some reason. Moon energy. Ask for help. Magical gateway. Protect your dreams. Motivation. Wait for winter. And the last card, we have pure intention. Wow, very, very beautiful cards. They're so colorful. I love the wings, actually. I really love the wings. And I'm pretty sure this is actually going to help us um, for guidance. And so on every group, I'm going to pull up a card to give you guys an additional message, all right, from this Oracle of the Fairies deck. And again, the reading is all about changes happening for you. We have three groups as well. And here they are. Group number one, Rose Quartz. Group number two, Amazonite. And for group number three, we have Pink Magnesite. So there you go. Those are the three groups. You may pause the video if you still need some time to choose which of these crystals. Again, this is group one, group two, and then group three. And always remember, it's a general reading, so not everything will fit your situation. Hi, group number one, you chose Rose Quartz. Let's identify the changes that are happening for you. Spirit Guides, Archangels, and Angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective who chose group number one. All right, so we got here, Page of Earth. Two of water, okay. Next you have eight of earth. Three of earth. Eight of air. All right, so let's actually get one more card. And we have, wow, 10 of water. This is actually really nice. At the bottom of the deck, you have Empress. I love this. I so love this. All right. So I'm seeing here a lot of Earth energies. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, especially Taurus. And I'm also seeing here water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And if it's air energy, definitely Libra. All right, so what are the changes happening for you, group number one? I'm getting different messages, okay? So I'm actually picking up, you guys have felt that you were actually stuck in a cycle. Some of you guys, um, this is related to work. Maybe there's not much progression in your work or maybe in your um, financial department. It's like maybe 
things are actually not going well or you guys are actually struggling when it comes to your money or some of you are feeling that there's no progression happening at all when it comes to your job some of you guys are actually looking for a job all right and you feel as if nothing is happening so here's the good news and the change that is actually going to happen for you when it comes to work first or finances i'm definitely seeing here that you guys are actually going to be able to either find a job if you're still looking for one that's a big change happening for you for others of you i'm definitely you know seeing race salary increase okay that's actually what i'm picking up if not promotion i feel that um, you guys are very creative people you're very talented and you are definitely going to be putting all of those talent those skills and experience to use all right and so i'm getting that there's definitely going to be some positive changes happening for you when it comes to your money matters all right or um, financial improvement definitely is what i'm seeing here and this is definitely going to make you feel very very satisfied not only when it comes to your paycheck but also emotionally speaking now for others of you I'm actually seeing that there are going to be some positive changes as well happening when it comes to your love life okay so I'm actually getting that for others of you maybe you also felt that there's nothing happening in your love life or um, there's not much progression as well maybe you've been waiting for somebody to return or you've been waiting for somebody to reach out but nothing is happening so I'm actually getting two strong messages um, for the single out there who's not resonating with they wanted a past person to come back or they're wanting for this other person to reach out um, for others of you you are actually wanting okay for reconciliation all that so I'm actually getting that for the singles and also for those who are actually still thinking about a past person I'm getting that you guys are going to start working on yourself first okay that's the big change happening because I feel that in the past you all always look for the absence of something when it comes to love and relationships it's like you don't feel whole and complete you don't feel good because this person is not in your life or not yet in your life if you're single so I'm actually getting that you are going to be able to love yourself first all right to put more attention on yourself um, caring for yourself and that is actually going to help you a lot okay in order to grow a beautiful relationship with yourself just like what the Empress does okay so I'm picking up for others of you because of this because of your self-love you're working on healing yourself or loving yourself you are going to definitely attract okay a person who's either ready to commit to you it can be a past person still maybe this person is suddenly going to realize and look back and say oh my gosh she is now the empress she is now the divine feminine okay but for others of you not necessarily it's still the same person but because of you loving yourself working on loving yourself growing a beautiful relationship with yourself would actually produce some amazing results okay because by doing this you're actually attracting okay people or the opposite sex um, who shares the same vision as yours all right so like attract like okay so that's actually what I'm seeing for a lot of you um, either when it comes to work there's definitely going to be some money improvements or you know financial improvements and race or increase in salary that's a change that I'm actually seeing but for others of you it's about relationships and mostly about you growing a beautiful relationship with yourself so that you can attract a person who is of the same frequency as yours and that's beautiful this is definitely going to give you this ultimate happiness all right so let's actually try to pull up more cards you have truth be told and you have mending okay all right and then he got here time for a nap so a lot of healing as well okay 
steps like what I told you guys right because you are going to realize now that you are the empress and that you deserve to receive love so I'm actually getting with these three cards there's a lot of healing that's going to take place I feel that some of you guys are actually starting to do the inner work that's actually what I'm hearing from spirit I feel as well some of you actually dealt with a person who probably took more from you or maybe this person's not being very open with you all right they're not really telling you um, how they truly feel or they're not being very clear with you some of you what I'm hearing is that you're ready to let that go all right because you're beginning to realize you know what I deserve somebody else who's not going to be that way or operate from you know a place of deception but for others of you I feel the changes that are happening is that once you actually start all right loving yourself first and growing a beautiful relationship with yourself healing as well from the past I feel that's when you would realize that okay I'm actually attracting more of, you know, the same person who shares um, the same core values as I have, or a person rather, who shares the same vision as I have. So again, I'm actually picking up here that maybe in the past you're not seeing things all right and that's a change that's going to happen for you if in the past you're not seeing things clearly you're probably more putting your focus or your attention on the absence of this person not being around in your life all right so i'm actually getting that there's going to be a lot of realization here for group number one and then a lot of healing okay that's what i'm picking up for a very small portion of you, what I'm hearing, it can still be the same person. That there's going to be some healing that's going to take place between you and this past person. But not for all of you, okay? Because I'm hearing from spirit, some of you guys are finally going to realize and somebody's touching my back. That is freaking weird. Sorry about that. I got distracted. I'm all alone. Somebody just touched me. Okay, so anyway, gosh, that was unexpected. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, geez, see, I got distracted. Somebody just touched me. <laughs> anyway, going back to what I was saying, some of you guys, um, you're going to finally realize, like, you know what? I deserve someone better. I am the divine feminine, so I deserve love, all right? I'm open to receive this time, a love that I'm actually, you know, um, really looking for um, or who's going to mirror um, the love that I have, rather, for myself. That's actually what I'm hearing. But for others of you, you can still be the same person. Maybe this person would actually eventually realize that you are their divine feminine because you start doing the inner work and you're healing yourself you're loving yourself all right and i feel that the changes that would happen if this is still the same person you guys are going to heal all right together you're going to try to repair just like what we're seeing on this card um solve back the um damage that's actually what i'm picking up but yeah a lot of you guys are really going to heal from past wounds or hurts and that's actually a positive change for you guys and there's going to be some sort of like an awakening gosh i'm sorry about that i just got really distracted because somebody just touched my back my lower back but anyway let's see here <laughs> Yeah, a lot of healing, guys, because he got here, rest and rejuvenate. Yep, you got awareness now. Exactly, that's what I was talking about earlier. And you got your obstacles and challenges. Okay. All right. So based on these three cards that I'm seeing for you, group number one, yes, you've been through a lot, okay? There's a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, a lot of setbacks that you are most probably still going through right now, okay? For others of you, you've been going through with a lot of challenges for the past eight months. That's what I'm hearing for others of you. 
but I'm actually, you know, picking up that the change that is going to happen for you, I feel that you guys are really going to see things from a higher point of view with this awareness card, okay? This is the crown chakra, and crown chakra had something to do with understanding everything. Um, finally seeing things as well, like understanding um, things from a different perspective, okay? You're much more awakened now. You're much more enlightened now. If in the past, just like what I said, you are probably not seeing it, um, your attention or your focus is more on the negative side of things or the pain, the loss of something, which is normal, okay? We all go through that. But eventually, as you heal or as you step into healing, you're actually going to slowly, you know, realize or see things from a different perspective. So that's actually what I'm seeing for you, group number one. There's going to be a lot of lessons. There's going to be a lot of aha moments or awakening for you. You are finally going to see everything differently. And this would help you to actually move past any obstacles or challenges that you're actually going through at this very moment. Okay? Very beautiful. A lot of healing for group number one. Okay. You have landscapes, places, and you have leadership. Okay. Now, this one is a different energy, okay? So what I'm actually picking up with this card over here, the landscapes and places, a lot of you are actually wanting to get out from that stuck cycle or from that space in which you're not very comfortable with. It can be an actual place. Maybe the change would also be change of residence or relocation, okay? Because this is a general reading, so I'm just going to deliver everything that I'm going to hear or see in your cards. So for others of you, it's an actual place maybe you're no longer you know happy with where you are right now um maybe it's not necessarily your home or your current residence or location uh, but for others of you it can also be your work maybe you're no longer happy where you are working for right now or the company that you're working for right now so you're kind of like you know thinking that you know what maybe i need to explore other options out there to grow and expand okay because i'm actually hearing a lot of you felt as if you're stuck you're not growing and so whether this is an actual place all right that you are wanting to get out from and that you will eventually get out from that very stuck cycle or that space um it can also be um an actual right an actual residence an actual relocation or an actual moving out is what i'm getting here for you um but for others of you it's more about the space okay that you're currently in like that's the change that's happening for you you're going to realize that you know what i can't be in this space anymore I better get moving. I better get out of this same old cycle. All right. Now, with the leadership, for me, this is all about courage as well or the confidence to do that. So some of you, the change that's going to happen for you is that you're no longer going to see yourself as, you know, a supporting cast, just like what it says here. You know now that you are the leading cast. OK, so there's going to be a change in how you see yourself. All right. You're going to prioritize yourself more and you will have enough courage or confidence that, you know what, I can do this. I'm definitely, you know, going to be able to overcome all these obstacles. I'm the leader. I have control. So it's kind of like reclaiming your own power and your own control. Um, and I feel as well that you're going to take the initiative, all right, to do some changes within yourself, to make some positive changes for yourself. Always remember, and this is something that I always say, change starts and begins with you as everything starts and begins with you, okay? Always remember that. So I'm getting here, and maybe for others of you with the leadership, another change that I'm actually picking up, if this is about work, maybe some of you will get promoted as well. That's actually another change that's happening for you. You're going to move from the current role that you're in, and you're going to be taking more of the leadership hat, okay? So wearing a different role this time. That's actually what I'm picking up as well for others of you. All right, so let's see, what else?
Oh yeah, look at that fulfillment. That is beautiful. And you have freedom, exactly. I just love how everything is matching. So again, let's start off with freedom. So like what I said with the freedom, a lot of you guys, the changes that are happening for you is that you're going to finally soar high and spread your wings, all right? You're gonna feel free. You wanted to get out, just like what I said, you wanted to get out from a very difficult cycle of your life, whether it's around relationships, whether it's about your work, or whatever challenges you've been going through. So definitely a lot of you guys are going to find yourself releasing okay we're giving up anything that is weighing you down just like the bird over here all right so you can soar high you can spread your wings all right and just really start a brand new chapter or a brand new journey that's actually what I'm picking up that's the change that's going to happen for you group number one and this would definitely give you a lot of fulfillment just like what I said earlier it's you know, if it's actually not about work or rather relationships, if it's about work, I feel that at first you might be hesitating to take this giant leap of faith. Maybe you wanted to stay at your current workplace or whatever it is that you're currently doing right now. And the thought of venturing into the unknown is kind of like scaring you. I feel that eventually you're going to be given this courage or this confidence to take that leap of faith, to take a risk. And eventually you would realize that you know what, that was really, you know, amazing that I really did take that giant leap of faith because I love where I am right now. That's actually what I'm hearing. So I feel that a lot of you are going to realize that, you know, you're thanking yourself, you're thanking the universe for being able to take that giant leap of faith because um, after that, you would see some amazing results and it's not just going to be, you know, good for your paycheck, just like what I said at the very beginning, if you can still remember, but it's going to give you a lot of emotional fulfillment and I said that and now you got the fulfillment card okay so whatever that is this can be applied on relationships this can be applied on your money matters or your career all right so you're definitely going to discard or have the courage and confidence to release anything that is weighing you down okay that is preventing you from growing just like with this fruit over here this is peach Okay, so that's beautiful. Let's see, what else? Yep, you got optimism. That's good. Fragmented energy, okay. And then he got here status quo. All right. So what I'm actually seeing here with these three cards, I feel that a lot of you in the past or maybe still currently, you know, going through a lot of, you know, confusion. That's actually what I'm hearing. Some of you have been searching for something. It's like with this puzzle, like you're searching for the missing piece, okay? And I feel a lot of you are all over the place as well. It's hard for you to put your focus on how can you actually, you know, achieve this dream or this desired goal. That's actually what I'm hearing for some of you but the changes that are happening for you group number one is that you guys are going to embrace the consciousness of optimism and for me with the yellow there's a lot of yellow yellow is also about confidence and courage so like what I said earlier I, a lot of you that's what I'm hearing you're going to be more courageous more confident okay to step forward to make a bold move towards your dreams or goals whatever that is because this is a general reading okay um, some of you that desired goal had something to do with relationships for others of you um, money matters or this project or whatever it is okay but I'm definitely seeing here that you guys are going to embrace um, optimism or being more confident be more positive because maybe in the past just like what I said you put your focus or your attention on the lack of something or the absence of something right so that is going to change you're now going to be ready to 
really view life differently because now you're understanding things. You're now seeing it differently because you have this awakening. So you're going to, again, be more, much more optimistic in your approach when handling situations. That's actually what I'm picking up. And um, yeah, if I read it intuitively, even with this card, not the actual meaning of the card, I'm drawn to the sun. So everything is yellow, like you are actually going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe you've been through a lot of heavy, you know, times, even with this choppy water over here. So you guys are going to see some improvement, some progress. You're no longer going to feel stuck, okay? You're going to see much more progress in your situation. And yeah, with the fruits over here, this is more about abundance as well. Well. So financially, you guys are going to be okay. You would see some improvement, just like what I said, when it comes to your finances or money matters. Okay, let's see what else. Angel of Balance, okay. You have whale breach. Sorry about that. Okay, you got your celebrity. You have lost love, okay. Perception, okay. And you got here, don't let your past hold you back. Right, so this is actually quite interesting because everything that we've discussed so far, it's just repeating with these cards they actually got, okay? Which is very, very interesting. Let's start off with the balance card, Angel of Balance. So I'm actually hearing from this Angel of Balance that the changes that are happening for you, like what I said, your approach is going to be a lot more balanced now because there's a lot of imbalances happening for you. Remember I was telling you guys earlier that you are all over the place. You're having a hard time focusing on the right direction and seeing things differently, okay? So there's that lack of, you know, balance within you. So I'm seeing that the changes that are happening for group number one is that you're going to be a lot more emotionally, logically balanced, okay? That's actually what I'm picking up. And with the celebrity card shine like the star that you are, exactly. Remember what I was telling you earlier, that you guys are actually going to be more confident, more courageous to spread your wings and soar high, right? To shine, okay? To show your potential, Okay, and to see yourself differently. If you can remember me telling you guys that when we saw the leadership card, you're going to realize that I'm no longer the supporting cast. I am now the leading cast of this film called My Life. All right, that's actually what I'm seeing for you, group number one. And I'm also seeing here as well with the perception, this is what I'm talking about. Like you guys are really going to see everything, the situation that you've been in, the obstacles, the challenges from a higher point of view. And this is actually a sign of maturity because if in the past you're just actually fixed on the negative side of things and you're not really actually seeing or not training your mind to see it differently, this is actually going to make you feel much more upset, much more frustrated or what, okay? So I feel that a lot of you, group number one, you're going to be ready to release, you know, all of the things that were conditioned to you as well, your belief system um, or unlearned something um, that you have adapted to or um, you've actually attached to in the past that's actually what I'm getting sorry about that if you keep on hearing you know a lot of 
yeah, some sirens and all that because I live near the highway, all right? So um, it's condominium and there's a lot of cars going around and some ambulances, I don't know. As a clear audience, sometimes it irritates me because I need to be more focused. So whenever I hear a lot of noises, it kind of like irks me. But <laughs> I have to, you know, be more um, patient here um, because it is what it is, right? Anyway, going back to what I was saying, you really got to um, understand that maybe some things were actually um, meant to happen because there's a lesson out of that situation and you're going to see it differently if in the past you're always like seeing it as if you're a victim or why is this happening to me what have I done wrong you're actually going to put on a different type of lens so that you will begin to see it much more clearly that's the changes that are happening for you okay and again whether this is about your situation or how you see yourself because some of you guys you are going to really shine like a celebrity you're going to feel good about yourself you're going to be a lot more courageous and more confident to take on your dreams and a lot of releasing here with a lost love so this is about relationship I really feel that you guys are going to be ready to release okay or to heal because this lost love talks about surrender healing and release and remember even earlier I was telling you guys you have a lot of healing cards okay so that's the change that's going to happen for you for most of you there's a lot of healing a lot of purging a lot of releasing okay and I feel that you're going to be ready to emerge a much more just like with this whale like coming out of the water to emerge a stronger and a much more wiser person than, than you are. With this, don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, that's actually the advice for you. Never allow your past to hold you back because a lot of you guys, I feel that because of the past experiences, the traumas and all that, it's kind of like, you know, um, making you feel stuck. That's why you feel stuck. All right, because what's holding your back, it's mostly about your traumatic experiences or some traumatic events or maybe what this person did to you. And it's like you you were held hostage. OK, that's actually what I'm picking up. But you're going to be ready to emerge and free yourself to release yourself from that very, very difficult space. So that's why you got um, the landscapes and places like what I said, maybe not an actual relocation for others of you or moving out, but it can be the space that you are in. OK, and that's actually the change that's happening for you. Very beautiful reading for group number one. I really love it because there's a lot of growth for you. That's what I'm hearing. A lot of growth, a lot of, you know, you guys are coming out of your cocoon or coming out of your shell finally. Um, ready to shine, ready to spread your wings and just fly and go after your dreams, okay? A lot of self-love as well because the past hurts or the wounds would definitely kind of like teach you to become a much more wiser person or emerge to become a victor, okay? And not a victim anymore. So that is really, really amazing. Before you wrap things up, let me actually get a message for you, group number one, using the Oracle of the Fairies deck that we did a flip through off. Message for group number one, please. Ooh, you actually have two cards, so let's take a look. Let's start off with this, believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature, so you're magical too. Again, believe in your own magic. So this is about self-confidence. That's why I keep on picking up that there's something about self-confidence here. Remember when we actually pulled up the optimism card and I said yellows? It's not just all about positivity or symbolism for positivity, but also courage and confidence. So yeah, you have to believe in your own magic. All right, believe in yourself that you can do it. You're no longer a supporting cast. You are the leading cast, okay? So be prepared to fly, all right? To soar high and fly. And then you got your journey. And it says here, it's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. No wonder you actually got this card. Yet, right so you got landscapes and places I even said relocation moving out moving to a different city or even country or what well you got the journey so for some of you the changes that are happening for you um, this is 
probably or most probably an actual moving out okay um a relocation that's actually what i'm getting here or you're just traveling because you got journey here all right it even says here pack your passport now all right so very very beautiful reading for group number one i hope you enjoyed this i hope it gave you some clarity or it gave you some guidance as well about the changes that are going to happen for you soon okay so there you go i will see you again on the next flip through plus pick a card bye bye guys group two you chose a mazonite let's see what are the changes happening for you spare guides guardian angels archangels please provide us clear guided messages for the collective which chose group number two You have Queen of Water. Queen of Air. Okay. You have Hierophant. Oh, wow. Okay. You have eight of ear, and then you got here ten of water. So we'll just pull up one more. And you got here five of fire. Okay. All right. This is actually good. Yep. You have ace of ear at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of air energies for group number two, Aquarius, Libra, and then Gemini. And I'm also seeing here water. So that will be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and also Taurus, if it's actually Earth. So what are the changes happening for you, group number two? For a lot of you, I'm actually picking up. This is mostly about, um, number one, what I'm hearing, peaceful resolution. All right, so that's the change that's going to take place. So if in the past you had an argument with someone, whether this is a lover, whether this is actually a friend, or anybody that you had a conflict with, okay, I'm seeing peaceful resolution for you guys. And that's actually a big positive change, all right? Number two energy that I'm picking up from your cards, group number two, is that the change that's going to take place is that somebody is finally going to break the silence somebody is finally going to clear things up somebody is finally going to be ready to speak up or to speak the truth because ace of air is always about truth clarity as well as communication so if things were kind of like you know very stagnant with this eight of air in the past maybe you haven't you know seen any progress in your situation whether this is about work you're waiting for somebody to contact you you're waiting for an important message from someone as well i'm actually getting that for you as well there's going to be some answers to some questions that you have in your mind all right that's actually what i'm seeing too or there's going to be some important communication coming in if this is actually related to your work maybe this is also about an announcement for others of you it's actually about um, an employment if you're actually looking for a job all right because I feel a lot of you were feeling stuck you're feeling as if there's not much happening in my situation okay that is the eight of air energy all right you feel as if things are not moving you're being restricted or there's a lot of restrictions okay so that's actually what i'm seeing now if this is about relationship maybe you haven't heard anything from this person okay maybe this person is actually acting a little bit you know confusing to you or you got confused by this person maybe this person sent out some mixed signals and you really don't know what this person wants okay for others of you um maybe it's been a long time that you haven't heard from this person either this person block you off that's why there's restriction or you block this person out whatever that is but I'm definitely getting important communication coming in for group number two. And I feel that this is something that you're looking forward to, okay? So whether it's actually a message from an employer, because that's what I'm hearing for others of you, or a message coming from your friend, okay, that you probably had some conflict with, that's also possible. But for others of you, it's about relationship. 
okay? There was a long period of silence between you and this person. And so the changes that are happening is that finally somebody will break the silence. Either somebody is going to um, reach out to you, send out a communication, all right? Clear things up, all right? And maybe for others of you, this is what I'm hearing. Somebody's ready to commit. Not for all of you, okay? Not for all of you. I'm also seeing here same sex situation. So maybe in the past, this person is actually not really sure about what he or she wants. But I'm actually getting that somebody's ready to come out in the open, you know, and just be really, you know, true to themselves. So that's also what I'm hearing for others of you. And then for others of you, I'm actually hearing that um, aside from this person is ready to commit or this person is going to reach out to you or send this very important communication, which will make you definitely happy. I feel that for others of you, um, this is more about the clarity when it comes to relationship. I feel the changes that are happening for some of you, not not necessarily that you will have this relationship with this person they have in your mind, but you are going to view love and relationships from a different level okay so it's like your version of love okay your perception rather of love is being upgraded just like with this queen of water and queen of air okay so what i'm actually getting these are two different queens okay so i'm actually getting that maybe in the past the way you actually view love and this is what i'm hearing from spirit it's actually um not to say that you were emotionally immature, but maybe um, you're not really just balanced enough to balance your emotions or your logic, all right, when you're in love with someone. But I'm actually getting that there is definitely going to be some changes with regards to you viewing love and relationships differently. So I'm getting maturity as well when it comes to handling relationships, okay, um, or partnerships, since we have here Hierophant, okay, that's actually what I'm hearing. You're going to be a lot more wiser now with the Queen of Air. Maybe in the past, you're always emotional. You're very sensitive, okay? So you're going to be a lot more mature, a lot more wiser, okay? That's actually what I'm picking up. For others of you, I'm actually hearing that... Um, you guys are actually going to be um, ready, all right, to step into a different type of, you know, relationship. I feel that what you dealt with or the person you dealt with the past um, or in the past, rather, it taught you a lot. And now that you are this queen of air, I feel that you're now ready to embark or kind of like enter into a different type of relationship. That's also what I'm hearing for others of you. Okay. So take what resonates because I'm actually getting a lot of messages for group number two for some reason. So there's a message around career, around getting a call from um, an employer, maybe, um, or important message from someone, whether just a friend. Okay. Because I'm also hearing peaceful resolution um, but for others of you this is um, related to your you know relationship with someone maybe you guys just stopped communicating there was a long period of silence and somebody's finally ready to speak up okay and to clear things up maybe I'm also hearing now for all of you okay this is very specific and what I'm hearing right now it's mostly about um, same sex maybe in the past this person is kind of like pretending as if they don't you know go for a same sex relationship i feel that this person is going to be ready to come out in the open and just say you know what i just am you know trying to lie to myself i'm trying to shove it away the idea of being in a same sex relationship but i'm ready now that's actually also what i'm hearing and this is something very random and very specific not for all of you of course but anyway let's try to pull up more cards Oh my gosh, look at this. You got soulmates. Whoa. Woo. A lot of cards. Hold on. Your cards are jumpy. Group number two. Hold on your horses. Okay. Let's see here. You got yin. All right. So mostly about 
love and relationships on this pile or on this spread. Okay. So you have soulmates, yang, higher power, and then you got imagine. Okay. All right. So, what are the changes happening for you, group number two? I'm definitely getting here, number one, all right? For others of you, it can still be the same person, because I actually heard earlier that somebody's going to be ready to break the silence and speak up, all right? And maybe this person's ready to talk to you, discuss things with you, and let you know about their true feelings or what they wanted to happen. Okay, that's the change that I'm seeing because for the longest time there is a period of stagnation or a long period of silence okay and then for others of you what I'm actually hearing is that this person is actually brand new okay so what you dealt with in the past is already in the past okay but you've learned from that experience. Remember, I was actually telling you earlier that you are the queen of water who became the queen of air now. So I'm actually, you know, getting here that some of you are ready now, okay, to enter a brand new relationship or a brand new chapter when it comes to romance. So I'm picking up that the next person, and that's a change for you, is definitely going to be a soulmate, somebody who really shares the same core values or vision as yours. Because maybe in the past, um, you were dealing with people who couldn't probably commit to you or dealing with men or women who is actually more into superficial relationships something very temporary not something very serious and i feel as well you've learned from that maybe because in the past um your version of love or rather your percep perception on love is different but because of that experience it opened your eyes to understand or see things differently and so because of this understanding because of this wisdom it actually help you a lot to attract people or opposite sex um, with the same core vision as yours and I feel that you're going to attract okay this soulmate all right and I feel that this person is ready okay to do something about this connection with you with this yang energy very masculine energy so it's two things either it's still the same person to realize that they wanted to be with you and this is a soulmate all right um you've opened the door to their heart okay that's also what i'm getting they've thought about it they wanted to break the silence they wanted to welcome you back into their life all right so it can still be the same person but for others of you i'm hearing it's not I'm hearing that you've learned from that past experience and it taught you to become a lot more emotionally mature, a lot more wiser, okay? And um, because of this wisdom, you are attracting now, you know, um, a soul-based type of relationship. That's actually what I'm hearing, okay? And maybe in the past, you were always the one who's doing the, you know, the um, initiative to, you know, plan everything ahead or doing the texting all the time, calling this person out all the time. And I feel you've learned from that, okay? You've learned from that experience. But for others of you, it's actually still the same person, okay? This person's ready to welcome you back, and that's going to be a positive change. I feel that this is divinely guided with this higher power. A lot of you, too, I'm actually hearing visualization, or a lot of you have been manifesting, okay? So I feel that this is actually the time that all your manifestation, especially if you are manifesting for a soulmate to arrive in your life, or a person to come back, whatever, I feel that it's really going to come into fruition based on the cards that you're getting. And this will actually happen in divine timing, okay? That's actually what I'm getting here. All right, let's try to pull up more. You have partnerships and alliances, okay? All right. You have base chakra. And you have here obstacles and challenges. Okay. So, yeah. What I'm actually getting here, two things. Let's start off with relationship. 
okay, or love. So what I'm actually picking up, and it can also be the same person that you have in your mind, or it can be a brand new person. So regardless, whether it's the same person or not, I feel that the change is happening for you when it comes to partnerships or relationships. I feel that this person is going to be ready either to be part of the team with you. Just like with these two people over here, they're holding each other's hand. So this is partnership, right? And relationship, it's partnership. It's not just one person doing the work, right? It's the both of you making it work. So that's the true meaning of partnership. And I feel if this is actually a past person, then maybe this person is ready now. They're on your side now. Maybe at, at the time that you guys were together, they're actually not really open for, you know, being in a partnership, all right, or being on your side. It's like you guys are not seeing eye to eye. That's actually what I'm hearing. But I feel that the changes that would take place or would happen when it comes to your relationship is that this person is going to be by your side and real, would really be open to work together with you, okay? That's actually what I'm seeing. For others of you, if this is a new person as well, because I'm also picking that up, you are going to attract a person who, again, like what I said, shares the same core values as yours. Somebody's going to be your ally, all right? Somebody's going to be by your side, all right? Sharing this same, you know, um, perspective of love, all right, or around love, and this person is going to work with you to make the relationship much more stronger, all right, and I feel that this is actually going to make you feel a lot more secure, because base chakra is also about security. Um, the opposite of base chakra is equivalent to fear, so maybe there's a lot of fear back then and I feel that the changes that would happen for you is that you are going to feel a lot more secure this time there's assurance okay that's what I'm picking up and you guys are going to be ready all right if this is the same person that you have in your mind you guys are going to be ready to move past all of these you know um gaps or move past all of these you know obstacles that you guys have been through in this relationship so that's actually what I'm picking up. So even if it's actually a brand new person, then this person would actually, you know, have all these, you know, traits or um, characteristics. Somebody's really going to work with you, okay? Somebody's actually going to make you feel emotionally secure as well. Um, and you can actually feel that this person's serious or this person is really wanting to work with you, okay? Not against you. And so that's what I'm picking up. But for others of you, the second message I'm getting is also about um, financial support. So I'm picking up that maybe some of you guys are dealing with some issues around money or looking for a job and all that. And this really made you feel very much insecure financially, especially when it comes to the stability of your career or what. And you've been going through a lot with these obstacles and challenges. So the changes I'm seeing here is that somebody is definitely going to be of help to you. All right. You're going to get some help from someone, whoever this is. Okay. And that's going to help you a lot to move past any troubles or any setbacks you're experiencing right now. That is really, really gorgeous. I love that. Let's see what else. You have love. Wow. Oh my God. A lot of relationship cards for group number two. That's what I notice. Oh yes. You got renewal, rebirth. Oh my God. Even at the bottom of the deck, you have communication. What did I tell you at the very beginning of the reading? Remember, you got the Ace of Air. And Ace of Air, it's always about truth, clarity, and communication. And I was just telling you guys earlier that somebody's finally ready to break his or her silence. Okay? Maybe a long period of no communication. All right? So that's going to end. That cycle is going to end. Somebody is actually going to be ready to be open to love. That's actually what I'm hearing with this love card, okay? Maybe this person has a lot of fear. Maybe this person couldn't commit to you because they have issues around love or um, commitments. But 
I feel, all right, if it's still the same person that you have in your mind, then this person, the changes that would take place in your relationship with this person is that this person is going to be ready to open up to love. Okay, this person is going to be a lot more communicative about their feelings. If in the past they're hiding it to themselves, they're not really telling you. All right, I feel that this person, by the time they come back into your life, okay, they were able to release all the baggages because this renewal rebirth talks about letting go of what it is that's actually cluttering up your space or what's holding you back whatever it is that's blocking them from coming towards you they're ready to release that by the time they are already going to reach out to you i feel that they've already you know released all the baggages okay and they're now willing to communicate they're now willing to speak okay um, because somebody I feel is having a hard time difficulty or um, some difficulties in communicating their feelings all right that's what I'm picking up now this is actually a brand new person okay because that's also what I'm hearing for others of you I feel that the change is happening for you as well is that you are going to again upgrade your perception and love okay your perspective on love and how you handle relationships how you see love and relationships is going to be a lot more you know different and a lot of you are going to grow a beautiful relationship with yourself loving yourself first and you're willing to let go with this renewal you're willing to let go all the past hurts wounds or anything that's blocking you from growing and i feel that eventually you are going to be this phoenix you're going to rise above the flames and let Letting go of anything that's no longer serving you and I feel that you are going to attract somebody out there all right which is the soulmate that we actually identified earlier somebody who shares the same core values as yours maybe this person is actually somebody that you might meet on the internet for others of you or social media that's also what I'm picking up okay so take what resonates because there are a lot of messages here all right let's try to pull it more opportunity that's great okay you got forgiveness Ooh, you got truth well 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 what can I say, group number two? Haven't you noticed you keep on getting a lot of cards about truth? Ace of Swords, Ace of Air, it's always about truth. Okay, so this is so weird how everything is matching to your reading. So what I'm seeing here, the change is happening for you. There's definitely going to be some opportunity, all right? An opportunity or a second chance is what I'm hearing for others of you with the same person. Um, let's start off with the same person, okay? So I feel that this person is wanting to seek for your forgiveness and wanting to have um, a brand new chapter with you. That's really what I'm hearing. And that's a change, okay? And I feel that this person is ready to speak their truth. Because maybe in the past, this person, just like what I said, is having some difficulty communicating their truth, right? Their feelings, everything. So that's actually the change that I'm seeing for group number two. Now, if this is actually a brand new person, because I'm also picking that up, there's definitely going to be a brand new opportunity when it comes to love. And I feel that you're actually going to attract this person once you're finally ready to forgive the past. That you've forgiven yourself, you've forgiven the person that you dealt with, okay, you've let that go, because now you're seeing the truth, all right? You're actually seeing things a lot more clearly right now. If in the past, you're actually kind of like confused, you're not seeing things clearly, you're more emotional. Remember, you are the queen of air now, whether you're a guy or, you know, a, a girl. But I'm seeing here that there's going to be a transition from the queen of water to the queen of air. Okay, so you're a lot more balanced now, all right? And you're seeing things much more clearly. So I feel this is actually going to be a step, a huge step before you actually, you know, meet this brand new opportunity um, when it comes to relationships or when it comes to love. So take what resonates, because for others of you, it's definitely a past person still, okay? But for others of you, now that you know the truth, now that you're seeing things much more clearly, all right, um, you are ready to forgive yourself 
you're ready to forgive the person who did hurt you from the past and you're ready to take on another journey or a brand new chapter a brand new opportunity with someone else so that is actually very beautiful for group number two actually i love your reading group number two very beautiful reading The healing light. Okay. Deception. Okay. And he got the honoring path. Okay. So, mostly about relationships for group number two. That's what I noticed. Just a few um, when it comes to career or other areas okay but what i'm seeing here with these three cards for you the changes that are happening for you there's definitely going to be healing so either it's still the same person who probably either was very deceptive towards you deception doesn't necessarily mean that this person is a cheater for others of you maybe okay but for others of you it's more about this person is wearing a mask and not really you know telling you how they truly feel about you okay so i'm definitely you know seeing here that somebody's going to be ready to honor their true emotions or feelings and to honor the importance or the value of this relationship that they have with you that's actually what i'm seeing now for others of you it may be all right that you're really you know not willing to go back to the past person and so you're healing from you know the past you're healing from um the energy of deception that you've experienced with somebody okay and you're honoring those feelings you're honoring those you know um emotions you've forgiven yourself you will be forgiving this person forgiveness doesn't mean you tolerate their actions or behaviors it's more of like i'm no longer you know a prisoner of the past okay i've forgiven you i'm letting go all right that's actually what i'm getting and this is actually going to help you to become a lot more stronger than before and i feel that you're going to look back and say wow I've grown so much because I'm getting maturity for group number two, okay? That's actually one of the biggest change for, for group number two. It's more about mat maturity, like you're actually no longer the person that you used to be, where you just, you know, kind of like a kid, you're just going to cry your eyes out and overthink and overanalyze. You're going to be a lot more mature when it comes to your approach in life, not just about relationships. For others of you, how you handle difficulties in life, obstacles in life, okay? And you're going to really, you know, emerge to become a victor here with this honoring path, right? A lot of people are going to admire you that you became this person. Because this is like, you know, a woman in the podium and people are clapping, right? People are actually cheering her on. And I feel this is more about, you know, um, the people around you, even your guides is what I'm hearing, are going to be like very, very proud of you because you've learned a lot from your past experiences. And this made you really, you know um feel a lot more better about yourself that's really what i'm picking up so yeah healing when it comes to your past experiences for others of you this person who probably you know is in this deceptive energy is wanting to heal things with you okay and they're actually recognizing the value or the importance of this connection now all right let's see what else Wow, this is beautiful. You got the sun. Very positive. You have cave, sanctuary. You have doctor. Again, a lot of healing for group number two. You have the dream, 
piece. Wow, this is good. I love how everything is matching. Group number two. I just love it. So you can expect a breakthrough to happen. Okay, a breakthrough. Whether this is about relationships or your career issues or money problems, there's going to be a breakthrough, okay? Kindred spirits, okay. And then he got nothing will come of this situation. Okay, right. So, what I'm actually seeing for you, group number two, is this. Definitely a lot of positive changes for you with the sun appearing, okay? I feel that you've been in the dark for quite some time with this cave, right? Um, I'm actually picking up that you guys are going to go through a lot of, you know, emotional cleansing, emotional healing, and a lot of growth is what I'm seeing for you, all right? That's the positive change or the changes happening for you because of a past experience, whatever it is that you've been through, because I feel that you've been in the dark is what I'm hearing. You've been in the dark for the longest time. Now you're going to see the light. That's why you're going to see things much more clearly. You're seeing the truth now, and a lot of you are going to to step into healing yourself all right with a dream it says here something is revealed so either again there is going to be an aha moment okay and something is going to come out of that cave um something will be revealed and this will actually give you inner peace okay that you're finally going to um see things much more clearly or you're seeing it now because of what is going to be revealed to you all right um this is also about breakthrough so for a long period of time you've been through a lot of challenges you've been through a lot of obstacles whether this is about your career or money issues whatever that is but there's going to be a breakthrough okay and you are going to realize you know what nothing will come out of this situation if I always put my focus on the negative side of things instead of actually you know becoming a lot more like the queen of air uh, somebody's not way too emotional but very balanced as well somebody who actually also uses her logic all right to to um, see the situation, you know, from a different point of view, okay, instead of just being all too emotional about it. So you're going to realize, all right, sooner or later, group number two, that if you are actually um, experiencing a very challenging situation of your life, you are actually not going to allow yourself to be consumed by a lot of negative negative thoughts, okay? Because you will realize that nothing will come out of this. If I still, you know, try to dwell on the past, if I still try to put my focus on the negative side of things, will it help me? Will it answer my questions? Will it really solve anything? And you would begin to realize that no. So you're ready to really embrace this inner peace because this is talking about dissolving any unwanted or disturbing or um, very negative thoughts that you have, all right? So you're going to be ready to heal, all right? You're going to release anything that is actually robbing you of this inner peace. With the kindred spirits, I feel this is actually, you know, the person that you're dealing with or you will be dealing with if this is a brand new person. I feel that there's going to be a lot of, you know, change or growth in your connection with this person okay i feel that this would actually allow you and your person to really grow from the past all right and you guys are really going to heal the connection again if it's the same person or because you have healed all right you're going to attract a person again like what i said somebody who is going to marry you all right that's what i'm picking up Wow, very beautiful reading for group number two. So far, yours is my favorite, okay? But before we wrap things up, I'm actually going to pull up a message for you. We'll use the Oracle of the Fairies deck that we did a flip through off. Message for group number two, please. Okay, you got protection, so let's read it. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Wow, 
practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Okay, now, this protection is for all of you, okay? This is just a message from spirit that you're being protected um, from any negativities or anything that is... Because I heard earlier, you've been in the dark. You've been in the dark. Now you got, you know, being surrounded by magical fairy ring of love and light. So this is so weird, okay? But again, you are being protected by your guides as well, all right? You're being surrounded by their love, by their light. Really trying to guide you to where you should be, all right? That's actually what I'm picking up with this protection. For others of you, maybe, yeah, if it's about career, all right? And you're doing some spiritual work. All right. I feel this is also a message for you to try to, you know, practice psychic protection. Speaking of which, you know what? A lot of people, I actually noticed some of them because of them watching pick a card readings or tarot, which is good. I also started out that way. Um, but if you are just going to pick up a tarot card, all right, and just study it, that's good. But you really have to be prepared. Okay, you really got to be prepared because it's not as easy as one, two, three that, okay, now I know um, the meaning of the cards. I'm just going to uh, set up my YouTube channel up there and, you know, do it like any other readers do. Um, no, because a lot of people, are, especially for those who are actually new to this, are not aware that doing this chair reading or spiritual work, there is definitely a need for protection. Okay, some people I notice um, I've watched, it's not in YouTube, but I've actually um, watched something in which they're actually just reading it, you know, because they got so excited. They pick up some tarot decks and they try to study it and all that, but they're actually not aware of, you know, some rules when it comes to tarot and the etiquettes of tarot as well. Um, that's actually a different topic, but I'm just going to share two, okay? Um, I'm wanting to do uh, tarot tricks of the trade. Number one, you just don't read anybody out there, right? That's part of the tarot etiquette. You just don't read anybody, oh, I just wanted to read this person. You have to ask permission first, okay? Because you're not actually aware that you're already casting out psychic attack on someone. And that is the truth. Number two is when you actually do a reading, all right, or you practice all of these, you know, psychic um, work or um, spiritual work, you've got to be protected. Even when it comes to reading, before you do a reading, you call upon the help of your guides. You declare it. You ask the help of the guardian angels or archangels. You invoke the light, right? You invoke your spirit guides because if you just actually just start, you know, reading for someone or just start reading, you don't know which spirit is actually going to come through, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys were familiar with the spirit box and all that, you know, there's a lot of spirit, you know, even there from everywhere because they know that you're open they know that you're actually doing this so it's giving them the opportunity to speak so you just don't know where you're channeling or getting those messages from i know that's a separate you know um topic and all that but i just wanted to give that tip to someone else out there especially if you're actually just new and you find this tarot reading really you know um amazing or it is amazing but you've got to be prepared you've got to be very careful when you do tarot reading it's not as easy as one two three like okay i'm just going to you know study tarot and i'm just going to set up my youtube channel and that's it no it's not that easy you just don't know because there are a lot of low vibrational energies out there okay um especially for those who are actually um going to see as a competition or they're going to see you as you know um you're a newbie and they're going to you know do something towards you you've got to be protected come on um uh i feel like i should actually do an audio about that in the right time because i'm really you know pretty tied up but yeah that's it i know I was actually babbling here, but um, somebody needed to hear that message, all right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Group number two, those are the changes happening for you. Very beautiful changes, very positive changes. And I will see you again on the next flip through, plus pick a card. Bye-bye, guys. Last but not the least, you chose pink magnesite. So let's see here. What are the changes happening for you? 
spirit guides, archangels, and guardian angels, please provide some clear guided messages for the collective which shows group number three. You have three of water. A lot of cards. Let's put that back. Oh my gosh, she got the sun. That's beautiful. Wow. You have six of water. All right. You have six of earth. World. Okay. And you got here for fire. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have nine of air. All right, let's put it over here. So, I'm actually seeing a lot of water energies, Scorpio, Pisces, and then Cancer, all right? And I'm also seeing here Leo, if it's actually fire, and Taurus, if it's actually Earth. So, what are the changes happening for you, group number three? Very positive, okay? I feel that for the longest time, you've been in this Nine of Swords energy. So Nine of Swords is always talking about stress, anxiety, all right, sleepless nights. So whatever it is that you've been going through, whether it's actually a stress from your work or because of financial constraints, whatever that is, okay? I feel that you're finally going to... Um, be ending that cycle or you're ready to move out okay from that very difficult cycle because i'm seeing here good times are coming for you group number three congratulations that's a very positive change um you have three of water here this is all about celebration so i'm actually getting that if in the past you felt like oh my gosh things are so unfair everything is not going my way i'm losing a lot of money or i still am looking for a job you know nothing is happening um you are actually just filled with a lot of you know um frustration disappointment but i'm seeing that difficult cycle is going to end and good times are coming it's like things are being balanced out for you that's actually what i'm getting very strongly so with the sun this is very very positive okay so you're going to see the light now at the end of the tunnel i'm also getting here that the change is happening for some of you let's start off with relationship okay i feel that um for others of you there is definitely going to be a person okay coming back all right from your past i feel it's actually somebody that you're still in love with it's not like oh i don't want this person back because the energy i'm getting it's mostly um a person that you really love or you're holding on to still so i'm picking up that there's going to be reconciliation or union happening okay that's going to be the change that's going to take place for some of you and then I'm also getting here that a lot of you as well, if this is about money matters, financial constraints, or um, career issues, I'm actually getting that that cycle as well is going to finally break, okay? I'm getting here that a lot of you would be experiencing, you know, some fun times or good times when it comes to your money, you know, money matters or your career. I feel that money is starting to improve for you or there's going to be money improvements um salary increase for others of you that's actually what i'm hearing and this is definitely going to make you feel very very happy okay because you're like finally i'm going to be able to let out a sigh of relief because you've been through a lot so that is actually really good i'm actually you know seeing that things are going to be balanced out for you you're actually going to be able to close out a very difficult cycle in your life all right and this is going to spell out good times for you even with a four or five which is also about you know um, having fun 
celebrating okay now if this is a relationship i'm actually you know picking up that there's a lot of signs of you guys coming together or reconciliation now for the past person if you guys were sing are single rather and you've never had a relationship or you're looking for a relationship i feel that the change that is happening for you is that there's somebody from your past life who's gonna you know arrive um, in your life that's also what i'm picking up okay so there's going to be a union of two souls that's what i'm getting here if it's all about relationships interesting i love your reading group number three very positive start so let's see here You have deep knowing. You have the fates. You have round and round. Exactly. Hmm. Oh my gosh. And then you got your milk and honey. All right. Very beautiful. So what I'm actually seeing here, all right, that you've been definitely in a very difficult cycle, just like what I said. And then now you got round and round. It's like everything is just going round and round. You're going in circles. Nothing is happening. But like what I told you guys, there's definitely going to be a breakthrough. That's what I'm hearing, all right? So if you've been in a very difficult cycle, whether it's actually about relationships or other you know, areas of your life, finances, career, what? There's definitely going to be a brand new opportunity for you guys. Whether it's an opportunity for you and this person to, um, if it's a relationship, to actually sort things out, all right? Because I'm actually getting some of you guys will actually reconcile with someone, okay? And I feel that you guys are really going to be able to, you know, uh, work things through. For others of you, this brand new, you know, chapter or this opportunity, I feel it's more about your finances or your career because Milk and Honey is also about opportunities, all right? Um, it's all about prosperity and abundance because we have milk and honey. So I'm definitely seeing that as well for some of you if it's, if it's not about relationships because on this side, I'm actually picking up relationships, all right? You have the fate, so there's destiny involved, like you're destined to be with this person or destined to meet this person or destined to close out some cycle as well. That's also what I'm picking up. Very, very interesting. You keep on getting the number seven. So seven is actually a very spiritual number. What else? You have firm foundation. You have light. Wow. Solitude. Okay. And so what I'm seeing with these three cards, definitely I'm picking up that. First, I'm actually getting Virgo for others of you watching this. But regardless of the signs, I'm actually picking up. Let's start off with um, finances career projects business whatever i'm definitely you know seeing that you guys all right are going to be able to overcome a very difficult you know face um, when it comes to your finances when it comes to your projects when it comes to your career um i'm drawn to this mountain over here and mountains for me it's always about obstacles all right it's always about reaching your goals so i feel that a lot of you are actually going to be much more optimistic as well a lot of you are really going to look forward to getting out of this dark face and you're finally going to see the light it's like it's the light at the end of the tunnel just like what i said earlier right now you got this card so that's actually very very beautiful with a solitude this is all about reflection as well for me i feel that you guys are probably going to do this um or you're starting to do this doing some self-reflection you're actually trying to balance your energies as well trying to put your focus on the solution of a certain problem or anything that you've been going through i feel that you guys are trying to search for some answers as well that's also what i'm picking up with this light like you're searching for some enlightenment or some um 
um, aha moment. You know, that's actually what I'm getting for others of you. And you are going to be able to get that, I feel. If you've been searching for some clarity or some answers that's been bothering you over and over again. Now, this is actually about relationship as well. Um, what I'm actually hearing because I'm seeing reconciliation for a lot of you as well. I feel that this person is actually going to, yeah, come back because they couldn't let you go. And they realize in themselves that you are actually that missing piece or you're that light, okay, into their life. They've done a lot of self-reflection as well. And they finally are seeing things much more clearly. That's actually what I'm hearing from spirit right now, okay? So for career as well or money, I'm actually getting money improvement all right money improvements for sure because this is also talking about money improvements I'm also seeing stability for you when it comes to your finances which is very very positive very positive group number three I love all three readings so far you got wisdom nice well, you actually got the Solitude card, which is also about wisdom. Okay. And then you also have food at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I'm hearing a lot of messages again. Let's start off with the wisdom. Okay. For the wisdom, again, all the failures that you've experienced. Okay. Because remember, you were in this very difficult cycle, right? I feel that those gave you some lessons. All right, whether it's around relationships, whether it's about you, your financial constraints, whatever that is, it's actually teaching you a lesson. All right. And I feel that because of this very difficult experience or very difficult, you know, situation, it's going to enable you to become wiser. All right. You're more enlightened now with the wisdom, just like the lady holding this lamp it's kind of like the hermit right the hermit is actually somebody who's looking within going within to search for some answers so i'm actually getting that for you group number three and i feel that because of you know this wisdom that you're going to get this would actually push you all right this would actually help you rather to do something going forward all right and to apply all those things that you've learned going forward okay that's actually the change that i'm seeing here maybe in the past with this food card i feel that you guys have been you know putting your focus on the lack of something because this card is also talking about lack consciousness right um are you seeing your life as if is it abundant or are you seeing your situation or you're seeing your life as if you're lacking so whether it's a lack of resources whether it's a lack of love, whatever that is. So I'm actually getting here that you are actually going to learn from that, all right? You're going to see it differently. You're no longer going to see yourself as if that you are a pitiful creature. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. Um, instead, you are actually going to see each failures, all right? Or these failures are teachers. This is actually going to help you to become a lot more wiser going forward, right? You're going to carry on the wisdom that you're going to get from those difficult or tough experiences and i'm actually also picking up very strongly as well that for others of you with this nature in gaia okay i'm hearing healing as well healing from the past healing from the wounds of the past and i'm also getting that a lot of you guys are going to be a lot more grounded a lot of you guys are going to be a lot more um still and you're going to put your focus more on the solution, okay, of your problem, because you're going to go within. Instead of being emotional about it, instead of actually, you know, putting your thoughts on the negative side of things. And that's not helping you to become much more logical. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Why is it that I lost this huge amount of money? Why is this person doing this? You are actually going to try a different approach okay which is the change that we're talking about that's going to happen for you so you're going to go within and you're going to instead ask yourself what am i learning for, from this what am i learning from this situation what should i do to make it better you see the difference that's actually what i'm seeing here all right for you group number three there's still there's definitely going to be a different type of approach when handling a very tough situation 
And then I'm also hearing for others of you, um, not for all of you, but I'm getting that the change that would happen for you had something to do as well with your lifestyle. So I'm actually hearing some of you guys are actually going to either make some modifications when it comes to your eating lifestyle, all right? Um, I feel that if in the past you've been eating a lot of junk, you've been eating a lot of, you know, not so healthy food, some of you are probably going to be a lot more, you know, putting your focus on exercising, yoga, or also vegan, being a vegan, that's also what I'm getting for others of you. So I'm also seeing that change when it comes to um, eating habits or um, adapting a much more healthier lifestyle. Now, this healthy lifestyle, not necessarily about the food, the fitness, and all that. It can also be your emotional, okay, um, healing, all right? Because if in the past you're always dwelling on the not so good things, and that is actually kind of like not helping you out, basically, in getting a solution to your problem, you're going to step away from that, okay? You're going to, um, kind of like release yourself from this victim consciousness. That's what I'm picking up as well. Very interesting. Let's see, what else? So you have blessings, very nice. And you got your purity, okay, this is good. This is good. At the bottom of the deck, you have flow. All right. So what I'm seeing here, the changes happening for you, group number three, is that for me with this purity card, I would actually, you know, I read cards intuitively. So what I'm hearing from that card, you are going to apply a different lens. Look at this wolf, like two different eye color, right? You're going to apply a different lens or a perspective of how you view your situation in the past. So instead of seeing things, you know, the same way, you are going to take on a different type of lens to see things from a higher point of view, okay? That's actually what I'm getting very strongly. And I also feel a lot of you are going to go with the flow. Maybe in the past, you're always trying to control the outcome of what you wanted to happen. But there are some things that even though this is what we wanted to happen, if it's not yet there, if it's actually beyond our control, we just really are meant to let it go and to not to basically control everything. Just let it flow. Let it unfold in the right time. So I'm actually getting that for group number three. And I'm also picking up that with this purity, this is also healing for me for some reason. That's actually the energy I'm getting. So I'm also getting healing for group number three. That's a change that's happening for you. And I also feel with the blessings, of course, there's blessings coming in. We've talked about, you know, money improvements already. We've talked about some, you know, um, good times coming in for you guys. So financially, there's going to be stability coming in for you. Um, I feel that you've been through a lot of, you know, rocky waters and there's light at the end of the tunnel. You're ready to move out from that very difficult phase, okay? And I also feel that for others of you, I'm getting that with this wolf. It's also about instinct, okay? So I feel that your instinct, your intuition is actually really guiding you, okay, to try a different approach, okay? That's also the change that I'm seeing for group number three. Um, you're going to become a lot more sharper and wiser and more focused as well, just like this wolf over here, okay? Maybe you're putting your focus on the wrong direction, that's actually what I'm hearing from spirit. So I am really picking up that for group number three, there's going to be a change in perspective. There's going to be a change as well when it comes to handling a situation, your approach in handling a situation. All right. And I feel that instead of being all over the place because you're emotional about it, um, I feel that you're going to be a lot more focused. Okay. Um, you're going to be a lot more determined to really try to put your focus on your desired goal, which is good. Instead of putting your attention on the lack or what is it that you actually do not have, because we have blessings here and that is also about counting your blessings, like being grateful for what you currently have at the moment. And by doing this, you're attracting more abundance, you're attracting more things to be thankful for, right? That's part of law of attraction. 
All right, let's see what else. Oh wow, look at this. Great achievement. Very amazing for group number three. So definitely, we were just talking about goals, desire goals and achievements. You have friends and colleagues, okay. And you got your teacher, great. That's why you got the wisdom card, right? So, again, the change is happening for you, group number three. Definitely, you're on the path to achieving success with this great achievement, okay? There's going to be success coming in for you um, with the friends and colleagues um, also picking up. This is also about coming together. The changes that are happening, I'm hearing, is that you and your friends are actually... Maybe if you haven't seen each other for a long time, I'm hearing that there's going to be a reunion because you got that at the beginning of the reading, okay? So for others of you, that's what I'm seeing with this people card. And also what I'm picking up with this friends and colleagues, this is all about your work. I feel that you guys are really going to help each other um, to achieve this desired goal or you're going to get a support or help from someone in the workplace, all right? That's actually also what I'm picking up. Who's going to be of assistance to you to achieve this desired goal, all right? Um, I'm getting promotion as well for others of you. Recognition, that's also what I'm picking up. With a teacher, this is not just about your, you know, a teacher. This is also about what these events in your life um, are teaching you. Remember, you got the wisdom card, okay? And failures, all right, for every failure that we've experienced or we are experiencing, there's always a lesson behind that, and that's teaching us. So that's going to kind of like change your way of seeing things, just like what I said, all right? You're going to learn a lot. For others of you with this teacher, I also feel, and this is for those who are going to resonate with the workplace and all that, I feel that somebody is either going to um, step into a different role, maybe you're going to coach someone, you're going to um, lead a person or some group of people, or you're just going to teach someone, some of you, the changes that are happening for you. It can also be that you you are going to be ready to study um, a different role or study uh, a different type of, you know, task or duty. That's also what I'm picking up. All right. So, yeah, take what resonates. But this is really, really beautiful because you guys are really on the path towards happiness, towards success. No wonder you have a lot of cards about celebration. You have a lot of cards about happiness. All right. Good times and all that. Beautiful. Your reading is very positive, group number three. Okay, let's see, what else? You have contract, okay? So maybe some of you guys are going to sign a brand new contract if this is about work. And then you got your grounding. You have fire. I feel that a lot of you guys lost your motivation and inspiration. So I feel that that's also going to change pretty soon. Something will happen in which you are going to feel a lot more inspired, more motivated to do something. You got thought, all right. You have a hidden gift. And then your dreams need a practical plan. So some of you guys are actually Taurus and Libra and um, Leo. That's what I'm getting. And if it's actually Earth, I'm really seeing Virgo. 
Okay, so what are the changes happening for you? A lot of these things were discussed already. So this is more of like a validation for group number three. So I'm picking up with the contract. Either this is, um, I'm actually hearing whether this is something to do with um, legalities. That's actually what I'm hearing as well for others of you. Okay, but for others of you, it might be you signing a contract, whether this is um, about job or employment. That's also what I'm picking up or, a, a, you know, same same company. But because you're going to be doing a different role, that's also going to be, you know, a change happening for you. And that's positive. Now, you got here grounding and fire. So fire is actually very powerful, right? And I'm actually getting that for others of you, the change that's happening for you, it's mostly about you being a lot more calmer, more grounded, and a lot more balanced. If in the past you are in this fire energy in which you're just really, you know, aggressive and just all over the place, or you're out of control, basically, with this fire, I feel that you're going to be a lot more responsible with your thoughts, with your emotions, all right, you're going to be a lot more balanced, a lot more calmer in your approach. That's also what I'm getting. And then you also have the hidden gift over here. So for a lot of you, maybe you are dealing with a very painful loss. Either this is a painful loss of losing a loved one, or it can also be that um, you lost a lover. This person actually separated himself or herself from you, or there was an ending basically in your connection. I feel that you're going to heal from that. There's definitely going to be a new beginning. Beginning. You're no longer going to be in the space of always crying over the past, crying over what happened in the past. You're ready to take on a brand new experience because you wanted to grow. Okay, so you're definitely going to grow just like the tree over here. And I'm also getting here that when it comes to your dreams or your goals, because for group number three, I noticed that there's a lot of people for group number three who's more focused, not really about relationships but mostly about their own growth, whether this is financial growth, um, emotional growth, you know. So I'm actually, you know, picking up that a lot of you guys are really going to be, you know, a lot more steady, a lot more stable, a lot more calmer in achieving your dreams and goals. Because maybe how you do things before, it's actually different, which is why you feel as if nothing is happening. Because you guys are not really, you know, seeing things from a bigger picture or the bigger picture of the situation. I feel some of you guys are just really putting your focus on the lack of something, right? So I'm actually getting that for group number three, your approach, your, um, way of handling a situation is going to change as well all right you guys are going to be a lot more practical as well when it comes to achieving your desires or when it comes to achieving your goals you're going to be a lot more steady you're not going to be in a rush all right you're not going to be all over the place or out of control so i'm seeing that for group number three and that is actually good very very beautiful reading for you group number three so there you go i hope this gave you some you know something to think about as well or it gave you some guidance but before we wrap things up i'm going to grab this deck this is the oracle of the fairies deck that we did a flip through off so let's get just a random message for you guys any message for group number three spirit all right you got this card flourish and I'll read it. It says here, the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light in any unclear areas of your life or those of others. My gosh, I love how everything is matching, right? So learn from experience. What did I say earlier? You got the Solitude card. You got the Wisdom card. You got the Teacher card. For group number three, there's a lot of maturity. There's a lot of growth for you. That's really what I'm seeing. A lot of you guys are really going to learn from every traumatic or failures in your life, okay? Not seeing it as something that would stop you from achieving your desires or your goals. It shouldn't stop you. It should actually kind of like, you know, give you um, a lesson so that you can actually have a different type of approach going forward. You can actually do things differently all right because you've learned that's why failures are our best teachers okay and i'm seeing that for you group number three so 
that's why it says here the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience okay and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others so yeah this is such a beautiful reading for group number three you guys are really on the path of you know um a brand new journey um you're in the path of experiencing you know good times because you're a lot more you know awakened now you're a lot more wiser now all right so you're ready that's what i'm hearing from spirit you guys are ready to um grow and to become the best version of yourself as well so very beautiful reading for group number three i hope this gave you like what i said some guidance or something to think about i will see you again on the next flip through and pick a card bye bye guys love and light